be recording. It's already in progress. Okay, a pleasant afternoon, everybody. So today is reading comprehension class. So I guess everybody is ready for tonight for our discussion. Were you able to download chapter four? No, not yet. Oh, not yet, Josephine. Okay, who among you here was able to download chapter four? Okay, don't worry. Teacher, teacher will be presenting my screen later on, so we will be you will be able to see chapter four. Okay, so time check. It is already. Okay, it's uh, it's already five oh nine in the afternoon in the Russian time. We are sixteen. I have sixteen participants for today. Sorry, Miss Lisa, I haven't downloaded chapter four. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, Nicholas. If you have time, kindly download it. Okay. I'll try to share my screen this time. Please wait while my screen is loading. Okay, do you already have chapter four with you? I mean, can you see chapter four on my screen? Hello? And uh, can you see my screen already? No, miss. Oh, no, not yet. Miss, can I go to the toilet? Yes, yes, Nicholas. Okay. How about this time? Am I already sharing my screen? Yes, yes miss. Okay. So it, it also says here you are already screen sharing. Okay. Last meeting, I was able to give you, I was able to give you a quiz. So I have nothing, but there were only thirteen of you who answered that one. The scores were not yet released. Maybe tonight, teacher will be able to release your scores. Okay. Welcome to chapter four. What's the title of our reading material? What's the title? It is What is the title of our reading material? It is Great Expectations. Okay. From chapter one, we are already down to chapter four. Alvaro. Yes, Miss. I'll have you first to read the first two lines. Okay. Four to nine. Line four to nine. I fully expected to find a constable in the kitchen waiting to take me up. But not only was there no constable in there, but no discovery had yet been made of the robbery. Mrs. Joe was prodigiously busy in getting the house ready for the festivities of the day. And Joe had to had been put on upon the kitchen doorstep to keep him out of the dusty pan of the dust pan. Thank 
Hello? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry for that one. I lost my screen. Alvaro, sorry, Alvaro. I'll be sharing again my screen. Yes. Yes. Can you see it again? Yes, miss. Uh, yes, miss. For a while, Alvaro, for a while. I'll make it big. Okay. Okay. Read again from line four, Alvaro. I fully expected to find a constable in the kitchen waiting to take me up. But not only was there no constable in there, but no discovery had yet been made of the robbery. Mrs. Joe was prodigiously busy in getting the house ready for the festivities of the day. And Joe had been put upon the kitchen doorstep to keep him out of the dustpan, an article into which his destiny always led him. Sooner or later, when my sister was vigorously reaping the floor of her establishment. Okay, good. Okay. So we were all, we were done. Thank you, Alvaro. We were done reading about chapter um chapter three. So as you noted, there is already a different setting because chapter three um Pip or the boy in the story we can say that he is outside. He is together with a strange man, bringing with him aisle, and the food that the man was asking um, for him. And this time in chapter 4, where's the setting now? Where is the story? Where did the story happen? Is it, is it outside? It's already back in Okay, it is back in the house or the household of Mrs. Joe Gargery. Okay, for a while, hello. Can you still hear, teacher? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, I will continue. Okay, so teacher will continue. So, what's the name of Pip's sister again? Who is Pip's sister? What's what her name it is? Mrs. Um, there's no right name given, but we can call her as Mrs. Joe. I want you to take note of vocabulary word for tonight. Okay, let us yeah, highlight this word. Okay, so we have a continue. Um, Come on, sorry, miss. I am late. Hi, Irene. It's okay, Irene. Okay, I am going to write in the middle part the definition of constable. Constable. If you want to pronounce it, okay, slow constable. 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 When we refer to constable, it is it is a piece of dirt. Limited policy authority.
I hope you know Constable is a peace officer with limited policy authority in a small town. Okay. Do you have it? Can you see it in the meeting chat? Did you already have it in the meeting chat? Alfonso, can you see my message? So I hope you can just see the main chat, the, the meaning of Constable. Okay, Michael, hello, Michael. Yes, miss. Okay, can you hear teacher? Yes. It's my computer. What, Miss? Um, is my voice clear enough? Here. Mr. Ray, I have a question. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes, Mark. Where's chapter four? Where's chapter four? There's only chapter one in paper. Or can you see my come again? Me? Okay. So I only get chapter one. Is there chapter four already in group? Yes, I already sent a of chapter four last week. Okay. Um, teacher will be uh, teacher will be sending it there for, so that it will be easier for you to locate. My connection is really not stable. I, I lost my connection again. So I guess I also stopped sharing my screen. But Alfonso. Yes. Okay. I'll try first to to switch on, on my connection for a while. Okay, so maybe, okay, maybe some kids are asking or might wonder why are we already in chapter four? Is it because we we started this group way back in January, almost almost February maybe? So that's why uh, we have been together for quite some time. So we are done with one chapters one, two, and three. So this time we are already in chapter four. It was just a few weeks ago that Dr. Hari um, told the teachers that other kids are also welcome to join specific classes. Okay, so that's why instead of having 
my regular five students. I used to have only five of them in this class, but because of the new policy, that's why I have many of you tonight. But nevertheless, it's okay for, for everybody. Okay, I am already sharing my screen. Okay, Alfonso, could you please read the definition of constable in the meeting chat or if you were able to write it down? Uh, sorry, Miss. I I I not I'm not writing and and I there's no 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 chat on on me. So because I'm at my my on my computer, it was lagging. Oh, yes. So I I'm going to the tab. Your computer is also lagging. Yes, very hard lagging. Very hard lagging. Okay, but I guess you can just check the chat box, the meeting, the meeting chat, Alfonso. Try to check it if you okay. can. Okay. Do you have it with you? Can you see it? No. Okay. Okay. Okay, Alfonso. How about Luis? Luisiana. Yes, miss. Okay. Can you also check the meeting chat? Yes, miss. Okay. Could, can you please read the definition? Constable, a peace officer, officer with limited policing authority in a small town. Okay, thank you. Okay, so my first question for tonight would be, what is the constable or what is the peace officer doing at the household of, the, of Mrs. Joe? Do you think Mrs. Joe has a problem? Okay, maybe, or definitely we can say that something happened at the household of Mrs. Joe because there is a peace officer. Okay, so Mrs. Joe was very busy getting the house ready for the festivities. Okay, but... Um, she is expecting for the peace officer to be at their households because of robbery. Okay. You have here the word robbery. What comes into your mind when you hear this word? Okay, is this a good act or is this a bad act? A good a action? Bad. Come again. A bad action? Hel Helena? Who is this one? Um, I'm Nicole. It's Nicole. Uh, it's Nicole. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late, miss. I didn't bring my phone, so I have to use my mom's phone. Okay, yes. No worries, Nicole. With your voice, I can say that it's you. Okay. You say that robbery is a bad act. Okay. Why do you say so, Nicole? Um... Because I know the me I know the meaning of it. Okay, you know the meaning of robbery. It is stealing something that it's not yours, right? Yeah. Okay, so definitely robbery is. We can say that it is a crime, so it is a bad act. So that's why there is a peace officer at the house of Mrs. Joe. Okay, we will be continuing reading our readings. Let's move now to line 10 to, okay, Alfonso, how about you? 10 to 13, please. Or your computer is lagging, Alfonso. 
Uh, no. Okay. 10 to 13. Okay. And, and what did you do? How you been? Was Mrs. Joe Christmas salutation when I and my conscience sold ourselves? I said I had been down to hear the carols. Ah, well, after Mrs. Joe. You might have done worse. Not a doubt of that I thought. Not a doubt, okay. That's one Alfonso doubt. Doubt. Okay. Okay. What uh, what season is the story is the focus of the story? It is during Christmas. what season? Yeah, uh, it's during Christmas. Okay, so you have their carols. Do you know what carols are? Or have you experienced caroling? Is it also happening? Does it also happen in Indonesia? No? Uh, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Yeah, um, kids um, visit or do carols in the houses. Okay, that's good, Alfonso. Thank you. So those are just conversations of Mrs. Joe, their household. Okay. How about I'll ask Ethan. Yes. Okay. I'll have you to read 14 to 16. Okay. 14 to 16. Perhaps if I want, I want blacksmith white and what the same thing a slave with her apron never off i should have been here the car here the carlos said mrs joe i'm rather par partial to carlos myself and that's the best re of reasons for my never hearing any Ethan, how do you read this word? Carols. 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 Come again. Carols. Can I have you to read it again, Ethan? 14 to 16, please. Perhaps if I want, want a blacksmith's white, and what, what's the same thing? A slave with her, a prawn never off, I sure have been to hear the carols, said Mrs. Joe. I'm rather partial to car carols myself, and that's the best of reasons for my never hearing any. Okay, so Alfonso said a while that it's Christmas season, okay. and Mrs. Joe can hear carols outside their household okay um his husband is mr joe gargery right in our previous readings and mr joe is a blacksmith okay do you know what a blacksmith is or i think we were able to to mention this one in the past readings Okay, but when we say blacksmith, okay, I'll be putting it again in the chat box for its definition. It is a person or someone. Okay, it is a person who Okay, hello. If not, Ethan, can I have Inda to please read what blacksmith is? Inda, 
in the meeting chat. Okay, miss. Blacksmith, a person who makes or repair iron by hand. Okay, it is a person who makes or repair iron by hand. Okay. So, the thinking of Mrs. Joe, um, her thinking is that I am only a wife. I am a slave. That's why I used to wear apron. Okay, so that's the reason why I can't hear the carols. Why I can't enjoy the carols. Because I am a slave. Okay, that's her thinking. So you have here the word slave. Um, can you... Uh, what do you call that one? Can you imagine... Or what a slave is. Or do you know perhaps what a slave is? I don't know. Oh, you do not know. Okay. Um, when you say a slave, it is a person doing work for others. Okay. Doing or performing duties for other people. Okay. Sometimes, um, if you don't mind tell if if you don't mind asking, slaves usually don't live a happy life because why? Instead of going to school, they are working. Instead of enjoying their life, they are working. Um, slaves are usually those people, and um, what what they call those who belong to a family. Um, with low incomes, so that's why they really work hard okay, to earn a living or to make a living. So that is the thinking of Mrs. Joe. I am a slave, so I cannot hear the carols. I'll just wear apron and I'll just work and work. Okay, Mark, can you try to read now? You want to read? Yes. Okay. I hope you can read um, line 17 to 22. Okay? Joe, who had ventured into the kitchen after me as the dust pan has retired before us, drew the back of his hand across his nose with a conciliar trick. Council tree air when Mr. Joe joined a laugh at him, <clears throat> a look with him, and when her eyes were withdrawn, she could cross his two forefingers and exhibit and exhibit and exhibited them to me as our token that. Mr. Joe was in a cross temper. This was so much her normal state that Joe and I would often, for weeks together, be as to our fingers, like monument, monumental crusader, as to their legs. Okay, so it's quite long. Okay, thank you, Mark, for reading. I would also like to ask Jose to read it again before we go on into the details of the paragraph. Jose? Yes. Joe, who had ventured into the kitchen after me as the dustbin had retired before us, drew the back of his hand across his nose with a sonsily hatery air when Mrs. Joe darted a look at him and when her eyes were withdrawn, secretly crosses his two four fingers and exhibited them to me as our token that Mrs. Joe was in a cross temper. This was so much her normal state that Joe and I 
will often for weeks together be as to our fingers like monumental crusters as to their legs. Okay, very good. Okay, good thing for reading. So, so that paragraph, line seven, that paragraph, lines 17 to 20, uh, it is, uh, what do you call that one? We can say that it's a, um, full of descriptive words um, describing Mrs. Joe. Okay. Can we say that Mrs. Joe at that moment is happy? Can we say that he is, that she is happy? Yes or no? Mm hmm Yes, Mark. I'm just thinking. Yes. Nah, ini bisa di komputer lagi. Yes, Alfonso. Uh, what? Okay, can we say that Mrs. Joe is is happy during that time? Uh, no. Yes. Can, no. Yes. Okay. Oh, for Mark, you can say that she is happy. For Alfonso, she is? She is happy too? No. She is not happy. Yeah, she is not happy, definitely. Because in the prior paragraph, there are carols and she wanted to she wanted to to enjoy it but she can't do it so you have the, there the word cross temper okay okay you have there the word cross temper okay so it is a a descriptive or a description of a person who is moody or a person who has a bad temper okay i would also like to note that one when you say cross temper It refers to a person who okay, it refers to a person who has a bad temper. Okay. So why does that person or why does uh, why is Mrs. Joe has a bad temper? Okay. He is violent or he is angry that time. Oh, oh, I mean, he is. She is being rude. She is being rude, but she is. She can't. Okay, she can't. Um, she can't be that violent or angry. But she is just upset. Okay, that's why you call her as a cross-tempered person. But you know, it's quite funny here because in line twenty, you beginning in line twenty. This was so much her normal state. Okay, so when you say normal state, Mrs. Joe is used to being cross tempered. Okay, when you say again, I'll say this one when you say normal, uh, when you say normal state, Mrs. Joe is used to have that. Um, that emotion being being angry or being moody. Okay, so much for that paragraph. Let's continue. Okay, Arga is not here, right? Vinka, can I hear from you tonight, Vinka? Yes, miss. Okay, I want you to start reading. Line 23 down to 29. Okay, man. Okay, miss. 23, 23 to 29, miss. Yes, yes, Venka. Okay. We were to have a supper dinner. Come sitting of leg of pickled pork and greens. And a pair of roast soft. 
Rose. Uh, handsome ma uh, means handsome pie means pie had been made yesterday morning, which account for the men's meat not being missed, and the pudding was already on the boil. The extensive agreements of in it of to be cut off unceremoniously unceremoniously in, in respect of breakfast for I in said Mrs. Joe I in agreeing to have no normal carming and dusting and washing up now with what I've got before me. I promise you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Vinka. Okay. Everybody, I'm Vinka. Can I still have you? Yes, miss. Okay, while I am talking to Vinka, I hope other kids will read it by themselves without opening the microphone, okay? Vinka, please read this one as sup, sup, superb. 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 Okay, this one is pickled. 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 Okay, this one is stuffed. Stuffed. Uh, pickled and stuffed are all verbs in the past tense. We can say that one because it all ends with ed. This one, vinca, means pie. Means pie? Yes, this one is means meat. Means meat? Okay, let's have this one extensive. 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 Arrangements. Arrangement. Okay, this one is occasioned. Occasion. Okay, lastly, answer unceremoniously. 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 Okay, good. Thank you, Vinka. Yes, you're welcome, Miss. Okay, can I have Ressa? Ressa? Rosemary? Uh, hello? Hello, Miss. Can I call you Rosemary? That's your name, right? Or it is? Or I'll call you Ressa? Is that okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Can you can you read it for everybody? This word, Rasa, super. What miss? Can you please say it again? Super. Look at my screen. Super. Super. Okay. okay. This one, pickled. Pickle. Yes, this one, stuffed. Stop. Stop. Oh, not stop, stuffed. Letter F. Stuffed. Come again. Stop. Okay, this one, mince pie. Mince pie. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. We will meet. Michelle, can I have you again? 23 to 29, please. Um, is it famous? <clears throat> 23 to 29. Okay, miss. We were to have a superb dinner consisting of a leg of pickled pork and greens and a pair of roast stuffed balls. And some mince pie 
had been made yesterday morning, which accounted for the minced meat not being missed, and the pudding was already on the boil. These extensive arrangements occasion us to be cut off unceremoniously in the speck of breakfast. For I ate, said Mrs. Joe. I ain't a going to have no formal cramming and busting and washing up now. With what I've got before me, I promise you. Okay, good. Uh, Michelle, who do you think said this line? I ain't I ain't going to have no formal crumbing and busting and washing up now with, a, with what I've got before me. I promise you. Who said those words or those lines? Um, I assume that it was Mrs. Joe. That was the yes. continuation from why. Yes. Okay. okay. So, in your point, Michelle, how do you... Um, how do you describe a superb dinner? I think superb is actually a sort of word. I think derived from the word super. I think it's sort of like a fancy dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like fancy, or extravagant. Okay. And how do you describe a fancy dinner? Do you, do you, are you expecting also of, um, just like the foods being mentioned, a leg of pickled pork and greens with bare of roast up fowls. What do you think a fancy dinner is? Is I think it actually depends. Sometimes super can be depends on the person. I think it's also um comes if they probably prepared a lot of food and they would call it a super as well. Yeah, if there are many foods being um, put into the table for you to eat, right? It's very a superb dinner. As yes. long as, okay, as long as you get full after eating, okay? That's good. Thank you, Michelle. Nicolas? Nicolas Chanturi, hello. Yes, miss. Okay, can I also ask the same question to you, Nicolas? How do you describe or what are you expecting if you say superb dinner? Um, like when you get food and dinner, maybe. Okay, a food for dinner, yes. Okay, I will try to. Okay, thank you, Nicolas. I will try to ask your brother, Noel. <laughs> You're giving me a smile. Hi, Noel. Yes, miss. Okay, for you, what is a superb dinner? I think it's like a, a good dinner. It's good tasting. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, you're expecting it to be a tasty dinner. Okay, especially if you are uh, going to share it. Especially super. if you're going to share it with your family, right? Okay, okay, yes, yes, yeah, someone's calling me. Yes, hello. Uh, it's me. Oh, yes, Mark. Uh, on my opinion, super dinner is like super tasty dinner. A super tasty mm -hmm. dinner. What food do you expect to eat during that time? If I read this again, I can see a pickled pork. A pickled yes. pork with roast with roast stuff. Oh, a pickled, pickled and roast one. Okay, so and that a pudding. Okay, what is else? Oh, it is in back. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for sharing your idea. Thank you. That's good. Okay, I think we still have time. Okay, let's continue our readings yeah, now. Okay, let's continue. I will try to call Josephine. 
Yes, Miss. Okay, line 30, please. Line 30. Then I'll tell you when to stop. Where the line, Miss? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Oh, here, line 30. Can you see it on my screen? Okay. So we had our slicer out as if we were 2,000 groups on a forced march instead of a man and boy at home. And we took gloves of milk and water with apology condiments from a jerk on the dress dresser. In the meantime, Mrs. Joe put clean white. Oh, for a while. Oh. Put clean white. Uh. Yes, continue, Josephine. Curtains up and take a new flower. Flounce across the white chimney to replace the old. One and uncovered the little taste trailer across the passage, which was never, never uncovered at um, any other time, but passed the rest of the year in the in a cool has haze. haze of silver paper. Okay, let's end with that one. Let's end with that one. Thank you. Thank you, Josephine. Okay, so teacher will go back to the first line read by Josephine. Oh, where is that one? Okay, so, so we were able to discuss that. Yes. Yes, Mark. Uh, is this already on the WhatsApp group? Chapter four oh. already. Oh, I mean, it's already it's sent on WhatsApp. Ah, uh, I mean, already sent it to WhatsApp. Not yet, Mark. I'll be doing it after the class, okay? After this class, okay. Okay. Okay, so, so Mrs. Joe, Mrs. Joe and Mr. Joe, they're going to have a superb dinner. Okay, so Josephine was able to read a while ago that they had, okay, they had, okay, we had our slices served out, okay, as if we were 2,000 troops on a forced march instead of a man and a boy at home, okay. This line, okay, this line is a hyperbole, okay, it's an exaggeration. So when you say slices was, were served out as if they were 2,000 troops, can you imagine 2,000 troops? So that means um, many people. So we can say that uh, there are more than, uh, more than enough for them was being served, um, more than enough food was served to them that night. Okay, and, uh, and aside from okay, and, and aside from those slices, they were able to drink milk and water with apologetic countenances. Okay. So if we continue reading until line forty. Okay, if we continue reading until line forty uh, those are all descriptives or definitions of what Mrs. Joe did during the day to make their dinner superb. So, so Mrs. Joe was able to change the curtain. She was able to tuck on the new flower, flower plants across the white chimney. So we can really say that Mrs. Joe was able to really prepare for that big night. And also the next the next paragraph it's quite long. But we still have time. Okay. 
Inda, can I have you for this part line lines? Okay, miss. My sister having so much to do was going to church vicariously, that is to say, Joy and I were going. In his working clothes, Joy was a world knight, characteristic looking blacksmith in his holiday clothes. He was more like a scarecrow in good what is circumstances. Circumstances than anything else. Nothing that he wore then fight him or seem to belong to him. And everything that he wore then grace him. On the present festive occasion, he emerged from his room when the blight bells were going. The picture of misery in a full suite of Sunday suit of Sunday penitentials. Okay, thank you, Enda. You're welcome, Miss. Okay, very good, Enda. Okay. Okay, time check. It's already 5.59, so we only have one minute left. Okay. I want you to, um, I, I, I knew that some of you weren't able to, to grab a copy of this one, but I'll be sharing the link of the reading text after this class. Lines 41 to 47, okay? Please take note of this one. The next meeting, I'll be asking a few of you what you have understood of these lines. Okay. How do oh, how do you describe Mr. Joe using those lines? Okay, so I'll be next meeting I'll be asking you to share your thoughts about it. Okay. Uh, you, you can... just close the yeah, Mr. Main, you just close the line forty one until forty six when I try to note them. If forty seven or forty six. Okay, again line. 41 lines 41 until 47 this one okay, okay. please read it reread it again reread it again then please prepare for for short sharing next time i'll be asking you what have you understood with those lines okay i already stopped sharing my screen Okay, so it's already okay, it's already six oh one in the evening. I guess I have to say, oh Nicole, you're already at home. Okay. I guess teacher needs to say goodbye. You're already at home. Okay. I'll be meeting the class next Tuesday again. But I still have a class with you on Thursday. I hope we can go back to a grammar class on Thursday. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.